How's it going everybody? It's Marcus from New Zealand Performance Car Magazine. Today we've got Darren Kelly's Nissan Motorsport R35 in the studio. So come on and take a little tour with me. First up you'll notice that there is no V6 under the engine bay here. We've still got a RB30 with a RB26 head. This is the motor that Darren ran the 2015 Demon Energy D1NZ season with. Uh, it's got Eagle Rods, J Pistons, the head's got HK's cams, HK's valve springs and valves. Uh, it still retains the six throttle body system, which Darren prefers over running like a single larger throttle body. Tim from Triple T Engineering has done lobster back intake pipes here. The, the reason for the lobster back here was he just simply couldn't get the pipe work around the tube frame. It's quite tight. Uh, there's also up in the corner here is a water sprayer unit which will run on the front of the intercooler and also on the rear mount radiator which we'll show you guys a bit later. Uh, there's a Ross Performance dry sump system which is one thing that Darren has wanted to do with this car since day one. It just helps alleviate a bit of that pressure and anyone who knows RBs will know that when you're revving them really high they uh, tend to fill up the catch can pretty quickly. So the whole front end is a one piece tube front that unclips and unbolts ready for when he hits a, hits a wall, but hitting an R35 tail, uh, headlight is going to be an expensive thing for Darren. If you want to come around here, we'll um, check out the very special TDP bullet steering system. This is the first car in the world to be running the TDP stuff, which has been developed in part with Darren. So it'll be very interesting to see how much lock he can get. I'm sure you've all seen him flipping 360s in the R34, so hopefully we get to see a similar video with the 35. Let's take a walk around and check out the interior. First thing you'll notice is the, the roll cage here in these, what we call sort of NASCAR or Formula D style side intrusion which allows Darren enough room to be swinging his arms, enough room to get in and out of the car. As you can see it would be quite tight if you had your more traditional X set up in here. Now Darren has opted for the, uh, the OMP head restraint HDER. Darren's always been one to push safety. He wears a Hans device and was one of the first guys in D1Z to run with the head restraint seat. Uh, we've got a Woodward steering column which is becoming basically a, a must-have in motorsport today. It's collapsible, it's safe, and it allows Darren's setting position to actually be moved back probably about 100 mil from where the factory R35 would have been. As you can see, there's a ASD hydraulic handbrake and sitting next to it is a, a TTI six-speed sequential. The smaller lever on the right, uh, left-hand side there is to select reverse. All right, now let's have a look at the boot. One of the probably most interesting parts of this car. Now the first thing you notice at the back here is this small little duct boot. What it actually does is deflects air that's coming off the roof and into the rear-mounted Phoenix radiator. Tim from Triple T has actually shrunken and shaped this alloy so that the Lexan forms a nice curve in there, but if you know sort of the basics of aerodynamics, you'll know the air will probably separate, so this here collects as much of it to allow the, the dual fans underneath to pull the air through. Now once the air has come through the, the fans, it will exit through these holes in the boot lid here. And in the boot we have So you'll also notice it's a it's an alloy boot lid, like most of the panels on an R35 GDR are aluminum. So this is lightweight, this is probably 200 grams really. Now what we have in the boot is a complete radium fuel safe system. Inside the tank there is a dual Bosch 044 main pump set up with a, a single surge and a lift pump. It's all in one unit and it just has the lines off it so it simpli simplifies everything and it's um, FIA approved. You'll also see the rear tube frame setup which again Tim from Triple T is responsible for. 
that system comes right out to the outside of the bumper so that Darren can bang walls and hopefully not smash too many of those R35 tail lights. Now the rear wing setup he's got is a uh, rocket bunny as well as the front guards but the rear guards it has no problem swallowing that 18 by 11 negative 20. Now the last piece I want to show you guys is actually under here which is the Siki Performance Quick Change rear end. Now you'll see this rear casing here actually comes off the diff and there's two gears in here which you can swap, swap out for different ratios to suit different tracks, weather conditions, that sort of carry on. And you'll also see the twin 3 inch dumps. There's no mufflers on this car so you'll definitely hear it once it's on track. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the technical tour of Darren's R35. Uh, he'll be running in the full Demon Energy D1 and Z season with the car so make sure you get down to the Forsyth bar for round one. It's going to be insane. And if you want to check out more of the car, grab NZPC 240, it's in stores from this week. Or you can click on the link below and we'll send one out to you worldwide. Thanks for watching.